Thank you. Anyone get directions back to the airstrip? Town's only got one road. We'll find it. Yeah, Morgan doesn't like to follow directions. You didn't know about that? Yeah, he likes to vibe it. Okay, smart as you drive. Oh, great. Thank you. Oh, is there a new development? Can't remember the last time I smiled for so long that it hurt. I've never felt like this before. Sounds like you're bored at home. Having an affair? I told you. I'm happily married. Does your wife know about your secret diary? I bet she'd like to know how good you are at keeping secrets. I'm not sure what you think you found, but you've gone from completely wrong to completely insane. You're hiding something, William. No jury will convict me because somebody saw me at the mall. And you think I'm talking with someone other than my wife. We found Missy. Told you so. You son of a bitch! Detect! No! 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 Tell me you found his partner. Reed. It's all so cryptic. At the end of the day came too soon. Well, they clearly enjoyed being together. They wrote a cluster of others right after the first victim, Kim Groves, was killed. We need to figure out how they met. There's got to be something in all this about their courtship. It all seemed so hopeless, but I finally learned to rise above it. It sounds like William confessed he was feeling incomplete. He was. He didn't start killing until he met his soulmate. Faith should never be broken. The longer they got away with it, the stronger their relationship. Sounds like these two aren't just obsessed with rape and murder. They're addicted to one another. Could have saved her. There were no signs of his having a partner until now. I guess that's why he's so cocky. Well, his arrogance is typical of a dominant personality. He's found a submissive who's willing to kill for him. What do we got so far? Uh, we were surprised that you injected yourself into the investigation. You risked a lot in order to help William. And killing Missy tells us how close you really are. It must be devastating to learn that William is here with us. He's not going to like that. Sounds like William's cooperating. Well, that's exactly what we want in the police. He'll doubt their alliance. Most entries followed the first murder. Yeah, William wrote most of them. Uh, I, I wasn't expecting that type of gift. I wish time didn't take away all the pleasures of the day. Gotta see this. What's that smirk? Sharon is posting bail. I'm thinking about where to go for dinner. You know, maybe we got it wrong. Maybe they're not both alpha males. Maybe we'll go to Salvatore's. Partner made the first move. He's the one with the balls. Yeah, and it's pretty risky, too. Think about it. What if you did turn in here? At least your partner thought you turned in here, hmm? Then he'd have no choice but to turn himself, and your lives would be ruined. That's the reason it works. You both have everything to lose. He's only cleaning up because he can't afford to get caught either, am I right? How's he going to react to the entry we wrote? Mm. He knows we're reading your little love letters, so we decided to send one ourselves. Let him know you're in here helping us out. He's probably feeling pretty betrayed right about now. And if he is, what do you think he's doing about it? William, you wrote, thanks for the perfect place to play. What were you talking about? Golfing. Golfing? Golfing. Right. What was it like? Perfect. It's been so long, my heart aches. I need to see that face again soon. Wow. And it's pretty obvious there's an emotional connection between you two, huh? Can't deny that. You know, William, it doesn't really sound like two buddies to me. It sounds more like two men in love with each other. You have no idea what you're talking about. You're right. I have absolutely no idea what it's like to be in love with another man. You know, everyone who goes into law enforcement <clears throat> has this air of moral superiority. You, 
It seeps out of every single pore. Black cop in the FBI. You got a big chip on your shoulder. Lot to prove. <laughs> now who's the one who has no idea what he's talking about? We're not so different, you and I. The games we play, we chose because they make us feel powerful. So, what do you have, Special Agent Morgan? Prove beyond a reasonable doubt that I've broken the law. But don't you sit there with that smug look on your face and judge me, boy. First of all, I am not your boy. And this look on my face is a look of contempt because you disgust me. You and I are nothing alike. When we do find this uh, friend of yours, there isn't a jury out there who won't find you guilty. How's it going in there? We're just trading punches. He's watching the clock, waiting for his bail to be posted. Current influences should turn this day into one with plenty of potential, but avoid the trap of trying too hard. Know your strengths, rely on them. Confidence, real or pretend, is your magic ingredient. Confidence, yes, I like that. Come on, guys, you don't think there's actually anything to this stuff, do you? I, you'd be surprised. It's gibberish. Thank you. Oh, you are just jealous because you don't have the magic ingredient. I have the magic ingredient. It's called Splenda. <laughs> All right, skeptic, what's your sign? Uh-oh. No. No, is that in April? Reed, we need a DOB on Prentice. Uh, 7.12 a.m., October 12th, 19... Hey! Mm, Libra, I should have known. A romantic opportunity may experience a slight hitch thanks to the pesky lunar influence, which could have you dipping into a rather chilly mood. If being demonstrative and warm is difficult, then neutralize this temporary cold front with a simple but affectionate gesture. I have a simple gesture. <laughs> hey! <laughs> When you think about the nature of serial crimes, it's amazing there aren't more predators in the clubs. I mean, excessive amounts of alcohol, countless opportunities for date rape drugs, not to mention surprisingly risky behavior being pursued. All right, so who wants a flyer? Nobody? Okay. All right. So, how's it going? Not good. I gave the profile to one woman. She asked if I was the unsub. How are you doing? Well, I gave out all my flyers. How many phone numbers did you get? None. I'm working a case here, kid. Okay, four were offered, but I didn't take any of them. All right, look, let me school you real quick. What you have to do with these ladies? Just take control of the conversation. When you're talking, what makes you feel like an expert? Uh, statistics. No, trust me, no. Something else. Uh, when I do magic. See, see, that's perfect. Chicks dig magic. I'm gonna give you a chance to work it. Come here. Okay. Uh, excuse me, sweetheart. Whenever you get a chance. Hi, what can I get you? Hi, uh, we're with the uh, FBI. Uh, we're looking for this man. Does he look at all familiar to you? Well, that's not much of a picture. I, I know. You know what might help, actually, is um, he has a scar on his eye right about there. Um, but we, we also know that he's taken classes where he's learned how to distract and charm his victim. <laughs> OK, how'd you do that? That's uh, it's privileged information. Huh. So what do I do if I see him? Uh, you should call us. Uh, even if you just think you see him, you should definitely call us. And if I don't see him, can I still call you? Yeah. Then you can call me. You, yeah. OK, cool. Wait, I don't have your number. Oh, um, it's behind your barrette. <laughs> See, there you go. That's what I'm talking about. That's called game. Bounce her sauce and go out the back. She likes to smoke back here. Well, based on the witness's description, definitely sounds like the answer was here. We got Unis at her apartment, but no one's home. Hey, it's Austin. Can you someone read the voicemail? Maybe we can have Garcia try to triangulate where she is based on the cell phone. He has her. 